Good morning, everyone. So our subject for today is English 11, Purposive Communication, okay? So we will be talking about all about communication. So how do you define communication, okay? So basically, when we speak of communication, it is always a learned skill. It's been said that it is a learned skill because day by day, we learn from our experiences. We learn how to convey our thoughts. Okay? We have different ways of conveying our thoughts and opinions. And every single day, we live for us to survive. And one means for us to survive is that we communicate. Okay, We communicate our needs. It is our mean for us to deal with things around us. Communication is very important. Okay? However, while most people are born with the physical ability to talk, not all can communicate well unless they make special efforts to develop and refine this skill further. Okay? That is why it's been said, all of us are born with our ability to speak or to talk, but not everyone has the ability to, to communicate very well, for us to communicate our thoughts or opinions effectively to someone. Not all of us have this ability to, to discuss, okay? To give information clear to everyone, okay? It is a learned skill. Huh? Basically, it is a learned skill, okay? Refined by efforts, special efforts, trainings, experiences, and so on. Because if we are exposed so much with different situations, that there is a need for us to communicate, okay, then our communication skill is refined. It is developed. It is enhanced. And then sooner or later, your communication skill becomes better. Right? Very often, we take the ease with which we communicate with each other for granted. So much so that we sometimes forget how complex the communication process actually is. Okay? That is why as... As human, as we communicate our thoughts and we are also receiver of, of information, we need to make sure that uh, we understand it clearly and we communicate our thoughts clearly also. Because one of the one of the reasons why we have conflict in our community is only because of misunderstanding. Okay, there is a misunderstanding because there's a lack of skill for a person to communicate well his or her intention, to communicate well his or her opinion about something or suggestion. That is why most of the times uh, people are misunderstood because they take it for granted to refine their skill in communication. Okay, So we have different elements of communication. Communication has been defined as the act of giving. Okay, we give. What are we giving? Thoughts, our ideas, our suggestions, our opinions. Okay, through through speaking, no? or through writing. Okay, we are also at the same time receiving. No? We are, at some point, we receive information. Okay, whether whatever form it is, we also receive information. And right after that, we send another information. That is what we call the communication process, okay? Or exchanging information, okay? Because there are some cases that when people are communicating, they just receive and they do not have feedback anymore, okay? They are just simply a receiver of information or a giver of information because they do not receive any. Uh, message anymore to the person they sent the message to, okay? So they're just merely a giver or receiver. Or communication could also be defined as exchanging information. Meaning to say there are a couple of messages, no? you send the information, there's a, the, uh, the person receives the information, there's feedback, and then it's, it is a continuous exchange of information, okay? Also communication of ideas and opinions so that the message is completely understood by both parties, okay? This is what's more important uh, sense of communication is that we communicate in order for us to understood, no? to be understood by the people or by the person you're talking to, 
Okay? Not simply we communicate because we want to say something. Okay? We want to say something but you do not even think if the person will understand what, you're, what are you saying or what would you like to, to mean with your information. So as much as possible, as a person who communicates the message, make sure that aside from the fact that you are thinking on how are you going to deliver your message, make sure to know also your audience, the receiver of information, okay? Know their background, know how do you think this person will, will get or will absorb your information. Because if you do not uh, let, um, if you do not let yourself to know about the background of the person, they might misunderstand you. Okay, so as much as possible, communicate in a sense that uh, it will be understood clearly by the receiver. That what the receivers understood is what is also your meant to be understood. Yeah, are you, are you getting my point? That is the sense or the most important sense of communication because we wanted to be understood by both parties, the receiver and the sender, there's a clear distinction on what is being talked about, okay? So we have a figure here, okay? The illustration shows clearly that in a communication process, there must be a sender who speaks or sends a message and a receiver who listens or receives the message, just like this one, okay? As you can see in the figure, we have a person here, it serves as the sender, Okay, and then the sender sends the message and now the receiver receives the message. Okay, right after the receiver, receiver receives the message from the sender, the receiver now understands and interprets the message. Okay, as a receiver, make sure that we do not just listen or we do not, we do not just hear what the sender says, but we also try to understand. Okay. For example, teacher, no? if a teacher taught you about a lesson about communication, you do not just simply hear. Make sure you understand. You go deeper. Okay, understand what I mean. Understand what I am saying. Okay, because that's where communication process becomes effective. Okay, so as I was saying, the receiver now understands and interprets the message. Now, the receiver becomes now the sender. There is a switch of the role. Why? There's a switch of the role because receiver now interprets the message and now it, uh, the, the receiver becomes the sender because he or she will be giving back the feedback to the receiver. So simply, the receiver now becomes the sender of a message coming or a reply to the message of the sender in the first place. Okay? So the same process, there is a feedback and then the sender earlier becomes now the receiver of the message in which it was the feedback of the receiver earlier, okay, from the sender. So that is how the communication process goes on and on. No? I knew for a fact that you understood this even long way before during your early years in education, but um, it is important that for us to understand the whole sense of communication, Okay, make sure in both parties it is well understood. Okay, there is a clear depiction of what you would like to mean. Because this is, again, this is one of the reasons why there's a conflict because there is a misunderstanding. Okay, misunderstanding because maybe the way you deliver your message is different one, it's a different way. And the way you deliver it was offensive to someone, so they may not take your intention clearly they take it negative so there's a mis mis um misconception about that misunderstanding okay the sender sends a message with a certain intention in mind again when a sender sends a message there's an intention you have a goal you have a reason why are you saying this why would you like to say this to someone okay and that goal is what you would like to get would you you would like to achieve that goal and how are you going to achieve that if the receiver gets or understands your message clearly and sees your intention okay the receiver now of the message tries to understand and interpret the message sent okay he or she then gives feedback to the original sender who in turn interprets the feedback from the sender 
Okay? So this process repeated continuously and continued or constitutes the communication process. Okay? A message is not only or is only considered successfully communicated when both sender and the receiver perceive and understand it in the same way. Again, make, uh, make little of this one, only a communication or a message becomes successful with the communication process if both the receiver and the sender perceive and understand it in the same way, okay? For example, your intention is to give hope to someone. So you give advices because someone is very down of the moment, for example, okay? He is having a problem in his life and then as a friend, you would like to comfort that friend of yours. And then you have, uh, you gave him advices of hope, okay? And then if, it is, if it's your intention to give him hope and he interpret it as really a message to help him uh, see that hope, then, it, uh, then meaning to say the communication becomes an effective one, okay? But if he understood it different way, like he will get it like, uh, he will find it offensive that, he, for example, thinks that you are you're just trying to make way for you to, to be on the light, okay? Or just trying to take advantage of his weakness. You know? And then you give him advice if you take it that way, meaning to say uh, the communication process is not effective one, okay? It is not communicative effectively, okay? Only, again, only, a communication process becomes effective again if both the sender and the receiver perceive and understand it in the same way. No? If this does not happen, then there may be a breakdown in communication, which may ultimately stand in the same or in the way of you realizing your goals either personally or professionally. Okay? There are so many examples. Why is it that we are misunderstood by someone? Okay, our message or our intention is not was not um, interpreted uh, correctly, or yes, we are misunderstood because there are so many factors. No, there are so many factors that will break down the communication, or there's or we have these factors that will affect our communication. Okay, or barriers that will affect the communication. It may be from the sender, or it may be from the channel how you communicate or it may be from the receiver. So make sure when you communicate, everything is everything is well settled, okay? So that your communication or your message will be perceived correctly and clearly by the receiver of your message, okay? So uh, for our next lesson, it will be the factors affecting the communication and it will be followed by defining or the introduction regarding the oral communication.